All right, what I say I needed eight and a quarter. Well, hey guys, I really, I really must apologize for it being so long since I've had my last video. It's, it's all about this uh, MBA program that I'm in. It's just uh, anytime that I have an accounting class, it, it is just a butt kicker, and this one is a butt kicker. Uh, but I am smoking it. <laughs> I'm still maintaining my GPA, that 4.0, which is uh, making me pretty happy. Anyway, today we're going to get back to this trailer and see if we can't get both of the of the what do you call them frame straightened out and uh, and then also see if we can't get them pushed together. I've got a little bit of a design change. Before I show you the design change, I need to catch up on a little bit of work that I did to the other side. So here you go. been quite a while since I've had to do a cold start, let alone scrape the windows. Here we go. Time to pick up the TFAP. That is how it is done, my friends. Sun is up. TFAP has been delivered. That is the Emergency Assistance Food Program, TFAP. Government is awesome with acronyms, aren't they? Hmm, I wonder if this thing is smoked. I think the smoke got out of it. Well, this is also part of the problem. Oh, come on, number two? <laughs> Junk. I know, I know what you're saying, but you know what? <laughs> 13 bucks. Yes, it won't last very long, but if I was to get a DeWalt, I could basically buy 10, 12 of these. The DeWalt will last longer. 
but that's okay. I got two of them because they were so cheap. Let's get back to work. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit of tweaking. My helmet has too much condensation, I couldn't see through it. All right, so I did some math. Uh, that's the trailer tongue, 35 inches wide. And I figured out uh, with a 45, 45, 90 degree uh, triangle that uh, A is 24 and 3 quarters inches. Um, and if I take 24 and 3 quarter inches, and try to figure out the tongue length, it winds up being only 17 and a half inches long. Uh, I think I need a longer tongue than 17 and a half inches. So instead of a 45 degree cut, I think I'm gonna go with a 30 degree cut. That'll give me a little bit longer reach. All right guys, this is hugely important. What I did is I measured out 14 inches and instead of that 45 that I was planning on to bring the tongue uh, in, I've chose a 30 and what that'll do is it'll give me more length in the tongue so that it isn't so cramped up against the truck. Um, but here's the important part. I'll show you with this over here. Okay, so same thing here. Very, very important. See that little mark, lining that mark up and putting a mark exactly down below right here so that the cut that's up here lines up perfectly with the cut that's down here. Otherwise, this is not going to, it's going to be all this, all this work that I did to get this nice and level, it's going to make this either tilt up or tilt down where I want it to tilt perfect uh, parallel with this so if you don't get that right well all that other work you did is for naught I got it tack welded in place see how well it lines up well really good and it's not just because this jack is here the jack is just kind of holding it in place while I welded it so it's looking pretty good
All right, that's perfectly 30 degrees. You know what? This is the thing. I was gonna hold off just tack welding all this kind of stuff in here and hold off until welding it, but this side is perfectly where I want it. So I think I'm going to weld this just in case something happens to the other side and I need to pull against it where it's not gonna snap some kind of a spot weld that I have. So I'm just gonna go ahead and weld this in place. All right, in case I failed to mention, uh, this cut was made 14 inches away from this point. Okay, welded that up all nice. Got a guy, nice weld there. Now here's here's what I'm planning on doing here. Now that was a that was a 30 degree cut up here. Okay, actually it was right there. Okay, so this in order to get this swing so it's flush this way has to be a 60 degree 30. And 60 makes 90, and that should actually put the little piece here where I can attach the Lynette ring. So I've gone ahead and, and marked the other side. Now this is 6 inches distance, and this is basically just to, just to curve it this direction. I'm going to have to cut it off about right in here, and I'm actually going to double this up. So this will be maybe in, well, I'll just put it in back, and then this will be in front. So... Um, this is actually a six and a quarter uh, from here to here, and that way it folds in front of this side. You with me so far? I hope so. It's coming along. All right, once again, I have to transfer those measurements all the way down to the bottom. And that way this thing will be nice and flush. So there's a 60 degree, there's a 60 degree up here. And I can start uh, cutting that and bend it over. All right, since you're not gonna believe me unless I show you, okay, I need about seven inches. Seven inches will do for mounting this lunette ring. So this is what I have set up. This I have um, measured against this rail and it is perfectly parallel to this rail. So it's coming down straight. I know this is kind of cobbed up. So I have this uh, T-square that's aligned with the rail that I have not bent yet. And what I did is I put a little mark right there, which is lined up with where I want to make the cut. Check this out. Come on straight down. Come over. And that's just at three and five eighths. Three and five eighths. Okay, well, three and five eighths is good because <laughs> just three and a half on each side uh, makes seven. So three and five eighths just makes it just a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do is um, where I'm going to bend it, uh, I'm going to um, cut the rest of the leg off at um, what's a two times three and five eighths. Well, it is six and 10 eighths, which you translate that to seven and one quarter. Right on, so seven and one quarter, that's where I'm gonna cut this thing off.
All right, guys, since I'm almost out of acetylene, I'm going to have to go to the farm store and uh, pick up some more, actually, to uh, air gas. Not the farm store. It's next to the farm store. And, yeah, I'm going to heat that up, bend that in, and bend this in, and then I'll just cut the rest off after it uh, marries up with this part. This is looking bueno. Hey guys, sorry I haven't been able to pal around with you lately, but uh, I think this is going to have to wait till next time. You guys are just going to have to tune in and watch. Please do. Please make sure that if you haven't subscribed yet to please subscribe. Definitely need your help. We are growing and that's a good thing. Till next time guys, I'm Dave Anderson signing out. You guys be safe out there and God bless. Hey guys, I really appreciate you watching this. Thank you so very much for your support. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe by clicking on my face. And please, if you got something out of it, you learned something, leave a comment, leave a uh, like for me. I really appreciate it. It really helps. Thank you so very much. I'll catch you guys next time.